doing oh. generic interviews for all the outlets that couldn't get in here today. Okay. So. Like people from New Zealand? <laughs> hey, hey. I've spent much time in New Zealand. I have great fun. I spent a Kiwi. lot of time in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life. Really? That surprises great. me. It's kind of weird. It is very odd. The, my wife and I were just talking this morning about how much we miss the biscuits. The biscuits. I miss the biscuits. I want a biscuit. biscuits. <laughs> hey. it's talking about you go biscuits. to the supermarket, and I'm telling you, it's just a wall. This the entire yeah. We do aisle. biscuits really good. Wow. Really, really well. <laughs> biscuits are like cookies. They're I, not yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll it's not rotate like through. Different varieties. And gravy. <laughs> um, so first off, we'll go down the line, just if you could briefly tell us who you play in the film. I play Lee, who is an actress, and she's shooting a movie about cheerleaders, thus she's in a cheerleading outfit through the whole film. And she's a lot of fun, she's sassy and charming and a little bit on the ditzy side, but she's sort of not afraid to be that way, which makes her a lot of fun to watch. Embraces the she ditz. embraces her inner ditz. <laughs> Zoe? Uh, I play Zoe, stunt woman from New Zealand, which is me. And I play, yeah, I play me. And she is coming to America to visit this one and Abernathy, who are working on the movie that Lee Montgomery is acting in. And basically, I think before I even leave New Zealand, I have the intention of driving fast cars. And I let them in on that part of my plan a little bit later into the movie. I play Kim, uh, a badass stunt woman. Uh, I'm working on the film that Lee is working on, and I think I'm Brandy's stunt double, actually, because Brandy is in the movie that we're making. Uh, so I'm Brandy's stunt double, and we get visited by Zoe, and we do a crazy stunt together, and it has a crazy twist, and we have to handle that. <laughs> it's how, twist handle it. how would you describe uh, just the death proof half of Grind House? How would you describe that film, what it's about? It's just about, it's about the stunt man. I mean, stunt man Mike. Uh, I don't know if he's an ex stunt man. I don't know if he still works as a stunt man. But you know, I it's a slash. It's like a slash <laughs> movie. And basically, his weapon of choice is his car. Is his muscle car. His depending on which half of death proof it is. Um, yeah, he likes to hunt down groups of women and watch them for a long time. Wait till they get really comfortable and girly and drunk and whatever, and then kill them with his car. And he could kill many women at one time. He really gets off on it. It's kind of sexual for him. He, he, gets, he enjoys it a lot. Lovely guy. Lovely guy. Yes. You know. And so how would you describe the larger Grindhouse project that this is part of? Wow. Hit me with a heavy one. What you? I don't know. I mean, What is Grindhouse? Like, oh. over to Mary <laughs> how will you feel about answering that one? Um, repeat the question, please. Uh, how would you describe the, the Grindhouse experience? Like? Uh, just fun. Just pure, you know, fun and an, an experience, an event, rather than just going to see a movie on a Friday night. It's like really going with your friends and and, and rather than going out to a club or going partying or whatever, like go see a Grindhouse double feature. Like yeah. that's way more fun and it's it's way more entertaining, at least to me. So it's just really exciting, especially for, for cinema because I feel like we haven't seen anything like this in a long time. See, uh, good answer. <laughs> and could you ask, what was it like to play a stunt woman named Zoe? Where did you that draw That like an answer. Quite a stretch. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, playing some woman's always it's a little far-fetched, but uh, I think I managed. I managed. Um, <laughs> pulled it off. I pulled it off. <laughs> it, was, it, it was interesting. I mean, I've, I've nothing to compare it to. I've never played any other characters. Um, uh, it was fun for me to kind of play, to be able to be myself, but kind of play in extremes. I mean, I would never ride on the bonnet of a car on my time off. Yeah, maybe <laughs> never faster than 30 miles an hour, at least. But... But um, and hopefully not with a serial killer chasing me. But hopefully. um, it was it was a huge amount of fun for me to work with Quentin in that kind of capacity, and to I learned so much from the girls that were around me, and the freedom we had shooting the the action sequences, being able to use my face was so liberating for Quentin, myself, and the stunt coordinator Jeff Dashnor and all everyone involved because it just opened it up to so much more possibilities of places to shoot it and it was, it was a really really exciting experience for me. Between the three of you, you guys have been on a lot of film sets, worked on a lot of productions. What's unique about Quentin's sets and his productions? Well, it's a whole experience yeah. with Quentin. I mean, Quentin has so much respect for everyone on the set, from the best boy to the people laying the cable to the grips to everybody. And there's music in between 
the the setups and it's like a big party and you don't want to leave set you know other sets it's like okay I'm done you know turn it around I'm go back to my trailer and hang out you know you don't want to miss anything because it's yeah. so much fun he loves making movies so much and it's infectious so you just want to do the best you can do everybody wants to be their best everybody wants to be the best grip ever I'm like I want to lay this cable like I've never laid a cable before <laughs> let's go you know yeah everyone wants to make the end product yeah. Yeah, they feel like so ownership inspired. of the end product it's like a team effort everyone yeah. feels like they're part of it You're as much as everyone big. else is so it's, it's just it's a completely different experience from anything I've ever been part of. It's just so much fun. I mean, every day was just like, oh my god, I can't believe I get to go to work again it's today. Exciting, it was yeah. so great. Uh, and what about Quentin? Obviously, you've worked with him before, but for the two of you, first time working with him, what's so unique and special about Quentin? Well, he's brilliant, and you know, people think of him as being kind of crazy, but he's such a sweetheart, which I really didn't expect. I mean, seeing him in his interviews and seeing how sort of intense he is, and he's so sweet and friendly and gregarious and just so welcoming that it was wonderful. Hey, he's free. He's really free with the compliments. Yes. Which is nice. Yeah, we I mean, like that. A lot of directors like work with him. <laughs> they kind of withhold. They're kind of like, ah, that's great. You know, whatever. That's cool. Moving on. He's like, that was awesome. That was great when you did this. And you're like, oh my god. You know, and you. But he's genuine. But you he's know, genuine. He's not just like, you know, if he didn't he like it, he'll say, it. okay, let's do it again. But when he likes it, he lets you know. He doesn't withhold from from the actors and that. And I've never actually yeah. met anybody who It's was like he writes cool so good, but he, he makes no effort to try and be cool on To be cool. Mm -hmm. You know, he yeah. allows himself to be the, the movie geek that he that he is. You know what I mean? He loves it. And we, Passion runs. Through. And we're all movie geeks. We're like, oh my God, it was so much fun. Let's do it again. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, you know, to make such cool movies, we're allowed to be just as goofy and geeky as we can on set, and, and and everybody's just able to show how happy they are to be there at all times. Now, we, for a guy who's written some very sort of macho films, were you guys surprised at this experience of uh, being on a film of his that featured so many women, so many strong women? And what was that experience he like? He loves yeah. women so much that it really wasn't surprising, especially after meeting him and seeing just right. how, how, and also seeing his other films, I mean, Kill Bill, Jackie Brown, you know he has an appreciation for women, and he knows how to write them well. Um, and, and to make them smart and interesting and not these one-dimensional heroines that are in you know, so many other films. So right. I, I wasn't too surprised. I thought it was really cool, but yeah. you know, I, I, I expected right. that, that of him right. one day. You know? well, it takes like, a special guy to be able to write badass <laughs> chicks who are feminine. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. they're yeah. women. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're like, and we're kind of like dudes, you know what I mean? We're not. The yeah. Women are women. They just, you know, you cross them and they'll come at you. It was like Kill Bill was like my first experience with Quentin. A lot of women, a lot of really mm -hmm. strong women fighting each other. You know, it right. wasn't even like women picking on dudes. It was like, you messed me over. Doesn't matter whether you're a girl or a guy. Doesn't matter whether I'm a girl or a guy. I'm I'm taking revenge. You know, and that. It, so I'm used to that. I was right. like, it's all about chess. Uh, going <laughs> on, what what's the one thing you would tell people to get them to go see this movie? People who know nothing about Grindhouse or Death Proof. What would you say to get him to go see this movie? I'd see, I think people who know nothing about it just have to be open-minded, because I think it's kind of overwhelming. You know, it's like, it's two movies, and it looks so crazy, and I don't know what's going on, and it's just so much fun, and it's so different than everything that's coming out right now, or that's been out in the past few years, and movies right now are just kind of like an assembly, assembly line. It's just like these formulas that they stick to, and it gets so boring, and it's so exciting that something's different coming along, so I think that... I would have to go say see go see the baddest ass chase sequence yes. <laughs> in the history of chase sequences. 17 minutes of badass yeah, chase, bad chase sequence. Chase sequence. Yeah, I, just, I think, you know, the great thing about seeing a movie like Grindhouse, you, just, you do not know what to expect. You're not going to see anything like you've ever seen before, ever. I can promise you that, you know, so you have to go see it. You have to experience it. It's a whole, whole experience that can't be missed. Fantastic. That's it. Thank you. Ladies.